Hello friends, welcome to Windows. In today's video, you will learn how to check if virtualization is enabled on Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC without going to BIOS. Virtualization needs to be enabled if you are planning to use virtualization software like uh, VMware, VirtualBox and Hyper-V that comes pre-installed in Windows 11 as well as in uh, Windows 10 PC. If virtualization is disabled or not supported by the CPU, then you won't be able to use these programs uh, to create virtual machine. If you landed on this video, then definitely you want to check if virtualization is enabled or not, right? Usually users have to enter BIOS to check the virtualization status. But in this video, I'm going to share an easy way. So let's learn it. First of all, uh, you need to open task manager. You can either open it uh, from the taskbar or you can use a control shift plus escape key combination to open it. Now here uh, you need to switch to performance tab and here on the bottom right side of the screen, you can see there is an entry named virtualization and its status is enabled. That means my PC is good to go and I can use a virtualization software to create virtual machine. In case it is set to disable, then you need to enter BIOS and you need to enable it from there. You can check the link in the description to learn how to do that. In case virtualization entry is missing, uh, this means that uh, your CPU doesn't support virtualization and you won't be able to use virtualization program and uh, as a result won't be able to create virtual machine on your PC. So that's it guys. This is one of the easiest way to find uh, status of virtualization on Windows 11 and uh, Windows 10 PC. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.